you and your colleagues come in today to talk about how you stepped up and took care of customers during the pandemic, and it's a bunch of baloney. In fact, it's about $4 billion worth of baloney, but you can fix that right now. Mr. Diamond, will you commit right now to refund $1.5 billion you took from consumers during the pandemic? No. Right now? No. No. That's right. Over the past year, you could have passed on the breaks that you got from the Fed to your customers, but you didn't do it. Everybody else here, those other three bankers, will any of you agree to refund the overdraft fees that you collected? I didn't think so. That's Senator Warren with Jamie Dimon yesterday, one of the more uh, watched exchanges in that hearing, Jim. It was remarkable, regardless of what you think about overdrafts, um, the selection of topics they chose to address versus the ones they chose to ignore. Look, if you read the different testimonies uh, you, of, of the chieftains, you would see how much they did uh, with the community overall. Uh, in terms of cutting people breaks, I know that there were uh, the breaks were really being done through PPP, trying to get that through. I don't necessarily think they did the best, but they were out there. Uh, but you know what, David? There is always something that a bank does that is easy to pin down. And I know that banks tried in many cases to give you, uh, during the crash, the Great Recession, some breaks. Uh, this was not necessarily on the list of things things that, you know, let's let's suspend overdrafts. Uh, that's but uh, Senator Warren can always find something that they've done wrong. Always and do a good job prosecuting it. Very good. Although Jamie Dimon, for his to his credit, said no. No. It's very simple. Was it, yeah, there was he's this, the only one who actually just will, will, will always no. answer with a yes or no. And he's the one that always also came. about unions. But he asked, comes back. Some, with, another senator asked. That, but has he not been the um, star of any one of these star asked. chambers? Yeah, he is. Yeah. You know why? Why? He's thought it through, and he's not afraid, and he doesn't play for dinner. Right. Right. And there is a look at uh, J.P. Morgan from the pandemic on. Uh, I don't think there'll be a. I don't think Engine One's against them. No. See, because they made a lot of money for people too. They did. They did. It does matter. Without a doubt, uh, it matters. What um, is their carbon footprint, though? Yeah, it's fairly large. Listen, I mean, back to that earlier conversation, you do wonder, though, Jim, if, you know, again, you, some investor comes along and says, I'm going to spend $40 million to buy a stake in Company X, or, uh, and I want them to stop, you know, I want McDonald's to stop using cows. No, stop using <laughs> like, any sort of paper, uh, pack, yeah. too much packaging. And it's an ESG, I mean, do they actually get a... A real hearing. Well, they, they have they to cover now. themselves by saying they got a good deal with Ethan Brown at Beyond Meat, which yeah. I'm surprised that our friends at Wall Street Bets have not taken me up yet and shorted. They're so supportive of everything I do. I think they may have to go for it. Ethan Brown. Ethan Brown, 22% short position. Do they have the capital beyond going for, after AMC and you, GameStop? You, I know you want to add it to that list, don't you? Well, I just think that they and I have, have come to a rapprochement. They want to hang me, and I prefer not to be hung. But there's something in between. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.